good morning how you doing happy new month once again open heavens for today 2nd december 2023 our topic for today is the king of kings the king of kings memory verse is taken from revelations 19 verse 16 and he had on his vesture and on his tie a name written king of kings and lord of lords hallelujah our bible text is taken from revelations 1 verse 5 to 6 verse 5 and from jesus christ who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood verse 6 and hath made us kings and priests unto god and his father to him be the glory and dominion forever and ever amen Praise the Lord. I open Evans' message reads in Philippians 2 10 to 11, the Bible says that the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Praise God. Jesus has dominion in heaven, on earth, and underneath the earth. All knees only bow to a king when he is in his domain. The moment he leaves his domain and enters someone else's domain, he is the one to obey the laws of the king of that place. For Jesus, the domain given to him is in heaven, on earth, and underneath the earth. That is dominion so mighty that everywhere he goes, the king of that place bows to him. He is the king of all kings indeed. Our Bible reading for today says, Jesus has made us kings and priests unto God. Thus, for every child of God, there is a domain that is given to you to rule over. If you are in finance, you must rule there. In entertainment, you must rule there. Whatever industry you are in, you are to rule as a king there. Many people think it is only in ministry that you are to represent God. That is not true. You are to represent God in that your field of practice too. You are to be a king there doing the will of God. We cannot leave these industries for other people to rule and then complain that they are not doing things God's way. We must get up and take our domains for God. To become the king of your industry, you must be the most hardworking person in that industry. You must be so good that you become a force to be reckoned with in your industry. This way, you will keep growing until you reach the top, until you become the king or queen of that industry. Only then would you have taken your domain for God. Enough of mediocrity amongst Christians. Enough of staying away from certain things because we consider the people in it ungodly. Salt is only useful where things are tasteless. Light is only useful where there is darkness. Go into the world and take over your territory. Wow, this world is for me. Hallelujah. Praise God. Our key point for today says, God would rather have you, a child of his, as the leader in that your industry, putting the work to rise to leadership for his sake. Wow. God would rather have you, a child of his, as the leader in that your industry, put in the work to rise to leadership for his sake. Praise the Lord. Our Bible in one year is 1 Corinthians 14 to 16. Our aim for today is in 20. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. You soldiers of the cross, lift high his royal banner. It must not suffer loss. From victory unto victory, his army shall he lead. Till every foe is vanquished and Christ is Lord indeed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I wish you a wonderful day, a beautiful day. Rise up, stand up for Jesus. Be the best in your industry and see Jesus taking you all the way. Praise the name of the Lord. See you tomorrow by God's grace. Bye.